Welcome to WSO2 API Manager 4.0 Scenario Tutorials Part 7 on Integrating with Data Sources. This is a tutorial that is part of a series and can be used as a standalone tutorial on how to integrate with data sources. For more details on the scenario and general prerequisites, please watch the previous videos on this series. Let's start the tutorial. Railco HR department is planning to develop an HR system dashboard. Therefore, Railco wants to create REST APIs to expose their employee database as a service where users can add, delete, update and view employee details. With WSO2 Micro Integrated Data Services, users can integrate with different data sources and decouple the data from its infrastructure. In other words, when you create a data service in WSO2 Micro Integrator, the data that is stored in a storage system such as the RDBMS can be exposed in the form of service. This allows users or any application or system to access the data without interacting with the original source of the data. Let's try out this use case. As the first step, we need to develop a service in Micro Integrator. For this, we can use the WSO2 Integration Studio. As the next step, we need to expose the data via API Manager. Once the service is developed, you can expose the data via API Manager for secure access. For simplicity, the data service is already developed and added to the API Manager demo pack. A database has been created with dummy employee data that you can query and modify. Now we can invoke the API in the API Manager. Let's try out this scenario in Railcore's Developer Portal. Click on Sign In button and for username, provide tom at railcore.com. For password, provide user123. Once you log in into the developer portal, click on this Railco Employee API and let's subscribe to this API. So here I have subscribed this API with the default application and you can subscribe it with any of the application that are available in your system. So next, let's generate the keys. If you have not generated them, you can generate it here. After that, click on this Generate Access Token button. Click on Generate. And now we have successfully generated the access token. So let's copy this. So now we have generated the access token. We can invoke the API calls that are available for this Railco employee API. When you click on this try out button, you will be able to see the available API resources for this particular API. So for testing purposes, let's invoke this employee slash ID API, API call. And let's see what is the response we are getting. So this is the curl command for that employee slash ID. And for ID, we are passing two as the value. And instead of this access token, let's copy paste the one we have just generated. So to make sure that we are getting the correct output, let's check what is the values that are available for this employee with ID two in the data source. So here you can see for employee ID2, these are the records available in the data source. Let's see if we are getting these as the response when we invoke that curl command. Enter. So here you can see ID is as 2, first name as Savion, and title as assistant manager. And if we compare those values in the database, the first name as Savion, and job title as assistant manager and employee ID as two. So this is matching with our data source. So now you can see that uh, the uh, scenario that we are trying out has been uh, successfully achieved. So similarly, you can invoke the rest of the API calls and check whether you are getting the correct output that is matching with your data source. As the next step in the upcoming videos, we'll deeply analyze and get some hands-on experience on analytics. Thank you for watching this video and we hope that you have learned something new and useful. We'll meet you all soon in another informative video.